Happy Mother's Day. This, this is, is JOJ Kids Takeover. I'm Abby. I'm Parker. And I'm Lizzie. The word of the month is honor. The dictionary defines honor as honesty, fairness, or integrity in one's beliefs and actions. The Bible instructs us to honor our parents. The first time this is mentioned is in the Ten Commandments, Exodus 20:12. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Um, so, um, me and Lizzie have trouble getting off our devices, so um, it would be better for us to just get off them as soon as she says, even if we're playing games and we're playing with our friends, just to get off immediately, and yeah. <laughs> My example would be, listen to your parents whenever they tell you something immediately. My example would be, um, is whenever your parents ask you to do something or tell you to do something, you should do it the very first time they ask you. And another way to honor your mom is if like she needs help with anything like watering the garden, cleaning the bunny's cage, or even doing the dishes, you should always help your mom. That's a great way of showing honor. So let's just say whenever your parents tell you to brush your teeth or go downstairs and get in bed, um, you need to do that or else <laughs> bad things will happen. <laughs> I'll go next. So never, ever do this. So if your parents are like my parents, then never, if your mom, t if you've hurt your sister, and she tells you not to get on your devices, but you know where your device is on, you get on them, you'll get grounded like me and Lizzie. Never do that. And the electronics have been in the safe for six weeks now. <laughs> um, another way of dishonoring your parents would be lying. Um, Sneaking out with your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Punching your sister across the face when and then getting in trouble. Yeah, hitting your siblings, that's a really bad thing. Um, we swinging get spanking swinging hatchet at them, <laughs> run, chasing them around our house with a knife. That's a no-no. <laughs> also, back-talking your parents, that is another way of showing. Also, screaming at your parents to be quiet and running away okay. or trying. Um, whenever your parents tell you not to take your computer downstairs and be Instagramming your boyfriend. <laughs> By asking for forgiveness, admitting you're wrong, and you have to forget that it's in the past. And if you're lying, always tell the truth. It's better to tell the truth than to lie because most, almost all the time, well all, actually all the time, Telling a lie makes you get in more trouble than just walking up and telling the truth. Yeah, if you lie once and then you lie again, it just leads into a giant rabbit hole. And then you, and then, yeah. <laughs> um, another way to honor God er, is to pray and just like okay. accept like what you've done and that it was bad and that you should try to never do it again, even though we are all our sinners, we can still try to do our best to not do that again. And also ask for forgiveness to God and also always, always repent if you do something wrong. Yeah, you can always talk to people who are older in your life who might be on, let me think of my words first. Like, and they have experience with that. Yes, they might be older than you and have a stronger relationship with God than you might. And they can, if you always have questions, you can always ask them and it will help you get through some of the struggles you might experience. So those are some great ways to honor your parents and God. So twins, tell us something funny about mom. Parker, you go first. Okay, so what I love about mom is that even though she can, um, if we do something bad and she gets mad at us, we can always go back and ask for snuggles and she'll love us again. That's very true. Sis? Um, another reason what I think about mom is fun and very kind of her is we all play sports and Abby's on the travel like club volleyball night team. volleyball team and so like we were traveling everywhere and she's just always there and even sometimes we do have to get pickups from friends but it's still she she's always there to be there for us. 
Yeah, mom is our biggest supporter, and always dad too, but mom, mom. drives us around everywhere, is taking us to all of our games and all of our craziness of life. Yeah, well, so dad's out there. So, we are very thankful for our mom. And while dad's out there catching fish and winning money, mom's out here <laughs> driving us around every day for school. That's and very true. And she's going to have to wake up at like 4 o'clock next morning to drive dad to the airport. So that was JOJ Kids Taking Over Mother's Day Edition. Thank you guys for listening. See you later. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Bye. I, I didn't do the bye.